Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Nessie. Yeah, that's right, girl. That's right. That's right. All right. I was like, please don't break. Hello, darlings. Welcome back to... Welcome back. Welcome... Welcome back to my channel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, welcome back, friends. Um, I'm getting ready to go to a fun little um, Kentucky Derby party. Um, is this not chic, c'est la vie, c'est bon, c'est bon? I think so. Um, so before um, I go, I want to film a quick video. Um, we're going to just run through a few fun stories. Oh, uh, well, fun for me, terrible for these people because they got to post about it. Um, and we'll see how things turn out. Hopefully, we give some sage advice. By we, I guess I mean me. But also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment your feelings and opinions about each of these stories. Tell me what you think. So I only, I also get a sense of um, your opinions, you know, to grow myself. But also, um, maybe these people can also learn if they stumble across this video. Because, you know, you never know in life. Let's get it popping. All right, story number one. We have my husband, 27-year-old male, doesn't want us to divorce despite him cheating on me, a 25-year-old female. Well, it's, it's not about what you want. It's about what's going to happen. Why wouldn't he cooperate despite his actions and, and is capitalized, and his words proving otherwise? So I'm assuming he did something that would, most people would get a divorce for, and you're confused as to why he's not cooperating. Because he don't want it, whether it's for pride or another reason, but let, let's see. Let's see the details. Let's see the, the hot deets. All right. We have been separated for a year now. Okay. Good to know. He, che he cheated on me with another woman um, and decided to live his life separate without a chance of reconciliation. I've come to terms that divorce is for the better. I would hope so. But the many times I brought this up, he has shut down my decision and refuses to cooperate. That don't make no sense. My husband neither wants to work on the relationship, nor does he want to cooperate with divorce proceedings despite me offering him an incredibly sweet deal, including paying for the expenses, etc. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you don't want to stay with the person, but you don't want the divorce. I guess I guess you're really concerned about the money that's about to go. Um, for maybe like spousal support. Um, that's look. <laughs> Uh, what's your plan? What's your, what is the goal? What is the goal? Just stay married legally until the day you die. That don't make no sense. Stupid. Unless you really got a lot of money, but I feel like she would have said that. Can anyone opinionate as to what would make someone act this way? Yeah, he's a, a freaking narcissist. He often goes back and forth at times saying he still loves me. Yeah, because he's narcissist and wants you to feel like he can make you still love him and can't lose me another time saying I am replaceable and I am not a gain for him, but rather there are several other women who he'd happily replace me with. The fact that you're even entertaining this conversation, you're like, and he goes back and forth shows that he has you exactly where he wants you in a place where you are moldable, easy to build up to then knock back down and do it all over again. So you get used to this pattern. Um, so you can continue to do whatever behavior that he wants confusing and it's not that confusing he's doing this intentionally all of it all of it is part of the you're seeing as two separate things that is all part of the same cycle confusing and irritating as the more we both cooperate the easier a divorce proceeding is yes any thoughts yes it would be easy if he cooperated but he doesn't want it to be easy because that's not what he wants what he wants is to feel control in the relationship which is why he's acting this way and doing what he's doing he doesn't want the divorce to be over so he is um, not going to do anything that would move it forward, which means cooperating with paperwork and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know if you don't know this or you're pretending like you want a divorce because you can file by yourself and you can get the court to serve in papers. You probably know where he is or you know where his job is and you get someone to, I don't know if the, you have to hire someone to do the thing where it's like, hi, Dylan Doe, you've just been served. All right, I just ate up that little improv scene, didn't I? <laughs> you've just been served. 
Right, so you can get someone to serve papers um, for the divorce, and you can, like, it's going to take longer to get it done when the other person doesn't want to cooperate, but, like, you can still go through the, with the divorce. It might take years instead of, like, months, and, like, I don't know how many, I mean, you guys are in your 20s. I can't imagine you have, like, unless, again, he's filthy, stinking rich, or you're filthy, stinking, I feel like if you were rich, you'd probably go through with it, because then he could apply for spousal support. Um... But if you don't even have that many else, um, assets, like, if you didn't buy a house together, like, there, there's a lot of things where I'm like, I, I, I think this will be easier to do than you think. It is going to still take some time, but I think you're pussyfooting around because you don't want it because you're like, I'm confused. There is no confusion. He will not make you happy. He has not made you happy. He cheated on you. He shows he doesn't respect you in any way or form. It's not going to change. You're still 25. You're young and hot. Get on out there, girl. Get out the relationship and get out Get out in these, um, in these responsible dates after you've spent time healing. Don't, don't go right out and just mess someone's life up, all right? Yeah, a comment says, and stop being nice. Don't give him anything that isn't required. Yeah, I'm trying to make it easier for him. G girl, lay it on. Lay it on thick. Like some peanut butter on some toast. Come on now. Oh. All right, let's get ready. Story number two. <laughs> All right. I, 30 female, don't think I can stay with my boyfriend, 30 male, after this. What should I do? I, 30 female, have a boyfriend, 30 male, that treated me very well. <laughs> Not the treated. Uh, right, instead of the treating. Um, did everything I asked without question. We have been together for four years. Today, I went through his device and saw he saved a lot of porn on it. Okay. Um, then I see in his notes, he saved usernames for girls and their OnlyFans and some video links. I didn't why, but he had logins for different emails and shady forum sites too. Okay, so it sounds like he probably has like a porn addiction. Um... I believe this is from a year or two ago, but then I see a link to my sister's OnlyFans saved in there as well <gasps> as an expired link form with her pics. That's where everything freaked me. Girl. To my girl. Yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is jacked up yeah there's a, there's a yeah having addiction is one thing but that that is just actually being messy uh i couldn't believe what i saw and i'm devastated and depressed over this yeah rightfully so i wouldn't expect this i wouldn't have expected this of him he started talking crazy saying that he can't live with me knowing this yeah i'd be you know what that's fair because i'd be crazy embarrassed too i had to calm him down when i'm the one that should have been dramatically reacting correct See, you should have started it off. You probably came too calm. You should have started it off at a at a 10, so he could only go to an 8, you know? <laughs> if he does something to himself, I would... Oh, I, I understand this very thing. Oops. <laughs> uh, I would leave... If I leave, I would not know what to do or want to be at fault. I think you also have to ensure that he is... I'm going to say this right off the bat, and then I'll read the rest of the story. When people make threats like that, you... And especially when you, like, care about them, short, like... Point, pointing them to resources that can't be a reason that you stay in a relationship sometimes because of the danger of it right you'll need to get a third party involved and a third party doesn't always have to be some authoritative person it could be a f close family member or close friend saying like i need to leave out of this relationship they are threatening um possibly unaliving themselves i need you to make sure that they are steady um and they're not going to do that because sometimes you'll find you'll find that like the people that are close to them will help to be able to bridge that gap um, if it's that severe. Um, you'll also find that some people are very, very terrible people and they'll just they're not planning on doing it. And they're just going to say that because they know it's a powerful tool to use. Um, and getting a third party involved really helps to figure out what is what and just be responsible with who you decide to bring in when you have this information. Because I've seen it both ways. Uh, but the third party seems to be consistently what has helped the most. Um, he told me he wanted to, yeah, uh, unalive himself and has no one else besides me and refuses to be with anyone else here. You can, you know already if that's true or not um, because you're in his life. He paused for what he did and said he never thought I would find it. And he is sad. It made him, it made me feel this way. 
He apologized for what he did. Okay, he did. Okay. He says he knows what he did was wrong and creepy. Mm-hmm. He missed uh, work the next day because he was too emotional to go. Okay. I'm really sad because he treated me better than anyone I ever dated. I, I hear you. And then I found this out. I would be sad without him in my life, but it bothers me he's done this behind my back and we were living together like everything was fine. I don't even know if he's talked to other girls or not. He denies it, uh, but I don't know why I would even trust that. Yeah, that's very fair because he was keeping secrets. It also sucks because I have nowhere else to go. My mom's house is overcrowded. It don't want to be temporary. Sometimes you got to make some moves. Um, so it's for your own mental health. It's sometimes better to be in an overcrowded house than a place where all that kind of emotional turmoil is going on. And I can't afford paying for an apartment by myself, right? Um, TD, TLDR, went through my boyfriend's device, found he had my sister's only fan link and expired form of her pics, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you, you get to decide if you want to stay or not, just in general. Um, and if he is truly sorry... He has to, like, this is, like, an he's showing, like, an addiction. And, like, it's gone very far to be comfortable enough to even look at your sister. And that's the part where I draw the line. Where I'm, like, even if I had strong feelings for this person, be like, I'm going to help you find some resources to deal with your porn addiction. But, like, I don't know if long-term we can do this. Or maybe you don't say that part. But you, like, there is an addiction there that he has to deal with. There's a lot of mental turmoil. There is, like... The, the speak of self-harm. There's there's a lot of things going on here that are above what you should be dealing with. And you have to find a way. Like, I get caring about the person. So, and even though he hurt you. So if you're saying, I don't, I know that he hurt me, but I still want to help him. You need outside help to help him. You're, this is this is beyond what you can do. Um, And if you're like, F it, you know what? Leave a little, like, call this person, call your mama, but don't call me. Um, your sister's info, and right, that's the part because, like, a porn addiction is one thing, but your sister, like, that the foulness of that, I don't know, I could never get over it. Um, but you do you, sis, but don't do it by yourself. I can't stress that enough. You need, you need someone else in there. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, uh, one, one more quick one, one more quick one. One's just, just a little, a little baby paragraph. Okay. Story three, how do I, 23 female, tell this guy, 27 male, that I'm not interested because he doesn't have his shit together? I, now, 23 female, was dating this guy, now 27 male, three years ago, for nine months. And we have been talking again for a few days. It feels like he is wanting to try again. Okay, so you dated like three years ago for nine months and now you're reconnecting. He doesn't have a job, oop, and can't keep one, oop, oop, uh, and doesn't gave his license i guess doesn't have his license um and is living with his friends another 30 year old male he's been the sweetest uh guy the little things he says makes me all giddy and blush um but i'm trying to get my life together period working and doing coursework slash work placement and it feels like he's not wanting to get a job and isn't looking for one i don't know how to tell him that i don't think i'm interested with being um, with being with someone who doesn't have their shit together. I don't know how to put it into words without sounding like a bad slash horrible person. Please help me. Girl, you already said it. Um, I appreciate the time to, um, we, I appreciate reconnecting with you. However, I don't see a future with you. I'm, um, looking for someone that is more self-motivated than you are. Um, <laughs> actually, I think your way was a little nicer than mine. <laughs> how do I say, I don't think I'm interested in being someone that doesn't have their stuff together. I think just like that. My mine mine is a little too more too specific, so it could hurt a little more. But it's also true. Saying like at the end of the day, when I picture myself being with someone, I picture that I'm with someone that has a stable job, that we can like have dual income, that we can build a life together. Um, and I know you haven't been working for a while, it doesn't seem like you're motivated to work, and I don't think it's fair for me to get myself in a relationship with someone that is not at that place. Um, because it's just not going to work out. Um, because then he either going to be like, a, well, I'm not going to lose you, so I'm going to step it up. And maybe he turns it around. The chances of that, less than 1%. But people, the way you see people out here, including me, I've done it before, you pretend like that's like an 80, 85% chance. Maybe I'm, or he'll like me enough that like, 
he'll change his behavior. He ain't. He ain't. And every so often you hear one story and you're like, it's happened to this person. And I'm like, I know one person that's happened to. I know a lot of people. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to call it that. Actually, and I don't even like know that person. Like, I know them as an acquaintance to another friend who also knows a lot of people. So not even someone that's kind of in my vicinity. That kind of thing barely happens. So girl, take my advice. You need to call it what it is. Just say like, hey, you ain't got a job and we don't have a future. Say that. That'll, that'll definitely <laughs> make him leave you alone. Whew. All right, darlings, that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much. I'm about to head out and go to this uh, party. Um, so have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Mwah. Where's Clip Clop? That's not the name of the horse. <laughs>